Coach, that third quarter usually is a strong point for the Pelicans, but tonight <laughs> it killed you. What was it out of the locker room, perhaps the zone they were running, that, that really did you in in that period? I just thought um, our sense of urgency and uh, attention to detail, knowing that, look, they're, they're starting to make some shots. Um, we got to be a bit more aggressive, running them off the three-point line. Um, but you got to tip your hat off to them. They made, it don't seem like every shot they took, they made it. Um, so we have to be better defensively, uh, especially coming out in the third quarter like that, not giving up that many points. That's just too much to, to overcome. Speaking of making every shot, it was a very good night for Trey Murphy. What sparked him? Do you see his time in the G League perhaps paying off, or was it just a matter of opportunity? I think it's a combination. He's uh, been working extremely hard. He's starting to see the pitchers more and more as he, as he progresses throughout this season. He's played in some G League games, uh, which helps him stay sharp and uh, he just played free tonight but he played hard and he did that the previous game where he came out played hard gave a, a great effort and just carry over uh, so we're, we're all proud to see Trey come out and have a, a game like he did tonight I know you have to watch the film as far as this one goes but have you been able just to put your finger on why the defense has made such a dramatic swing from the first four games post break to where we are now, again, you only gave up 106 against Orlando, but the other three games have been in the 130s and above. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it starts with just flat out effort um, and game plan discipline. And, and when you start to lose um, some of your players, you have your margin for error. Our margin for error is even smaller. Uh, and so those are, those are things that we got to clean up, get back on the floor, continue to work at. And um, we'll continue to improve. But tonight, um, just unacceptable defensive performance on our part. Um, give Charlotte the credit, but we have to be better. Yeah, and, I mean, they, they kind of really uh, created a lot of that separation in the third quarter. Just yeah. what did you see during that stretch that specifically went wrong? They just had us in rotations. Um, come off pick and rolls, hitting the pocket pass. And then from there, they made plays. and. Once we allow the the big to roll and catch, now you're in. You got to rotate, and, and they made shots. Yeah, and you guys come out of the break. You know, we already mentioned winning four straight, and now you lose four straight. You know, without Bi, without CJ, I, I guess what are you kind of telling these guys to prevent you know them from allowing this to, to snowball on you? I'm telling them that this is an opportunity for all of us. Um, that's what the NBA is about. Is Somebody goes down, it's an opportunity for our guys to collectively come together and continue to work and, and, and try to go out and attack teams. Um, offensively, we got whatever we wanted also. 31 assists, 17 turnovers. We got to get stops. And uh, where have you kind of seen uh, Trey's game grow start of the season to now? I think just the speed and the strength of the game, the physicality of the game, he, he's picking up more and more. Um, and then he's getting himself in position to shoot the ball quicker, faster, understanding that he has to have his feet set, be locked and loaded, and guys are looking for him. Uh, on top of that, he's just playing hard. Every time he touches the floor, that's the deal for the Trey. Just continue to play hard, play with effort. And um, if he can continue to give us that type of performance, you know, that would be great for us uh, going down the stretch. I was going to say, what, what did you like? I mean, it's still 120 points. Uh, for your for your offense tonight, what did you like about what, what you guys were able to do on that side? I thought we did a great job of sharing the basketball. Number one, offensively, it's a it's a major key for us. Um, the guys were connected. We were driving. We were kicking. We were find they were finding each other, and um, you know we understood really quickly. Even with their zone, if we just run our plays, we'll still get open looks. Um, so I'm pleased with some of the things that we did offensively, uh, defensively just unacceptable to give up 142 points and expect that we can win that game. It's going to be tough. Thank you. Recording.